Hey, what's up guys? It's Masleaf here, coming back after, wow, <laughs> such a long time after I've done a FPV. But anyways, it's going to be against uh, Green Zero here, and um, Winter Meltdown will be the first map. Sorry if I sound a bit weird, by the way, I just, you know, woke up literally 30 minutes ago. It's the only time I can catch Green Zero online is that the at these ridiculous hours. But uh, yeah, there was a tournament two days ago from the time of this recording, unfortunately. Pretty messed up. I messed up pretty hard that one. And yeah, not much else to say about that. Uh, Reaper 17. I'm going to go for this spike here. You're safe to go for the uh, Tybrium spike adjacent to your base. And since I don't know what faction he is, it's unwise to uh, make a lot of buzzers. I mean, maybe perhaps it's a good idea because there's a lot of garrisonable buildings, so that could be a mistake on my part. But uh, yeah, uh, we're going to scout him with a Seeker instead. That's going to be what we're going to do. So starting off, we didn't do the most optimal build. And uh, there is some mild interface lag I notice when I play against Green Zero. That's just only because he plays in Australia and I'm from the UK. So to see his faction, we just hover over the portrait here and it tells you what GDI faction he is. As you can see, he's got composite armor and only GDI get composite armor. So that uh, means that he is GDI. So we go for the uh, Seeker first. and micro this harvester to collect Tiberium as it will boost our economy slightly not much but you know every little does count we're gonna kill off this uh, rifle squad here it might even escape but uh, the buzzes are slightly faster and may catch up with it yeah there we go so that's uh, good and yeah we're gonna drop our second refinery any moment here now, since we're Reaper 17, obviously we don't have the ability to teleport our hexapod. But instead we have some very powerful tripods, and we're going to abuse that against GDI. Unless, of course, he goes for some kind of push. In that case, we'll have to switch our plans and go for something else. So we're going to just harass this MCV as it moves. He's got four harvesters. I'm on three harvesters right now, somehow behind. That's probably because I went for Seeker first to scout him, but as you can see, his MCV right now is taking some significant damage. And it's already down to uh, half health, below half health in fact now, and that's loaded damage actually on his MCV. The, going for Seeker first now was definitely not a mistake. And as you can see, he's sending the pit in to engage the Seeker. What we'll do is uh, try and lure it up as far away as possible from the War Factory so it can't... Uh, just go back there and repair. So yeah, he's uh, built a barracks to uh, repair his MCV. At this stage, really, I wouldn't say it's a good idea to uh, repair your MCV. I mean, what, what's going to kill it? You're, both players are just building harvesters right now. He should have sent that pit to scout me because there is a, a nice push that uh, Reaper can do, which involves uh, going for a Devour tank rush. But Green Zero not going to do that. We're going to go for some uh, shard walkers now just to provide some anti-infantry and anti-air the sole reason for going shards first is because we don't have any other useful units that we can train at this stage I mean if we had devourer tanks now at tier 1 then yes we would be going for devourer tanks that would make a lot of sense he's got this APC here which kinda makes me believe that it's a uh, what do you call it a uh, APC engineer green zero he does like his APC engineers so we're going to try and intercept that, he's got another one up there and I have a reason to believe that it is an APC engineer. So we're going to uh, intercept the first APC engineer and the second one I believe went up the top field so we're gonna go there. I'm not too familiar with this map like I, I've only played it a couple of times but uh, yeah I know what he's doing and his APC engineer will be getting spotted any moment and taken out. We're going to queue a buzzer hive just in case we miss an APC engineer. Alright, so there's a pit bulk for the scout. He isn't going for me at the moment. I've got no battle markers right there at the current time. And yeah, we're just going to mash shard walkers now. There's the APC. He's going for Preds. 
but we've got loads of shard walkers now so that that's uh, pretty good we're gonna go for a tier 3 now uh, to be fair I think it's best to go for a portal first in case he has gone for double war factory which we don't know as of yet so we're not gonna take any risks we're gonna go for a portal first just for a couple of descents to make his tanks uh, fear my army of shard walkers just uh, slightly more Split these Shardwalkers up a little bit. Throw down the Icor Seed. And yeah, he's going for Mass Infantry, which I disagree with entirely. He's even got a load of APCs there, so... Yeah, he's going to find that uh, it's not going to be easy to crack my defense that I'm going to have uh, ready to stop that. So yeah, let's uh, capture this right here. And yes, we will... Get these dev tanks charged up. And I believe I have enough shard walkers to handle what he has at the moment. So we're going to engage him. Some minor lag right here, but uh, nothing significant. It is dipping to 24, but yeah. Uh, gonna kill off everything here. Micro this shard walker back. And of course, uh, we still want to be looking out for the APC engineers that Green Zero loves to make. We still have eight shard walkers here, which is going to take care of his uh, his remaining infantry. No bothers. Put a uh, buzzer hive there, just for good measure, in case he does have a. There we go. So Green Zero, I know him too well. He's got an APC engineer right there. We're going to stop that. And yes, there's no way I'm going to lose to an APC engineer right now. So yeah, we're going to send this tripod to kill that off. So these dev tanks, since they're near a tip field, they will be uh, getting charged up right now. And that will get taken out fairly easily. Let's evoke the construction drones right here. We're going for mass tripods for getting the upgrades, but uh, I have enough here to take out his forward base. It doesn't seem like he went for a tier 3. Instead, he went for a mixed army of infantry and uh, APCs. And after this game, I'm going to check my computer settings for lag. So I want to know what the cause is of that. And then, uh, of course, the next game will be pretty smooth, hopefully. But yeah, he's got loads of Shatterers now, so we're going to send the tripods in. And we're going to switch to Mechapedes now for the anti-air. Now, I would recommend uh, Mechapedes in, against GDI because they have uh, Zone Trooper Hammerheads. And Zone Trooper Hammerheads, they have more range than, than Shardwalkers. So you want to ensure that you can range them, uh, otherwise they will just kite everything you've got. And that really does kind of suck. Yeah, Green Zero going for mass infantry now, which makes sense. I mean, he is uh, pretty behind. We're going to stasis all of that, and we're going to just send all of our units in to engage his army. Send these tripods in. And send them to crush. I've got mechapedes, of course, they're pretty good. They can adapt to any situation at hand. In this case, we want anti-infantry, so we'll equip some uh, shard segments here and GG it's game number one so uh, yeah as I said I'll probably cut the recording after the statistics graph right here so I can look into my computer settings and see what the hell's causing this flame uh, uh, frame slowdown so yeah there's the statistics if you're interested and I'll be right back Alright, hey guys, I'm back. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure what caused it. I think it was probably a memory leak. But uh, yeah, uh, let's change the map. Maybe it's the map. Yeah, okay. Right, Undergrounds, that's pretty fine with me. They're, they're all big maps, which he likes. This is a good map for GDI because uh, it's large and open. And uh, you, have, you can really abuse the hammerheads and stuff like that here because of the open terrain 
I feel Zocom are good here for that reason. Artillery doesn't play much of a role because it's too large for artillery. Um, that you can't really contest your opponent's fields because there are none to contest except the blue field in the middle but most players just uh, leech that in the mid game and I mock so yeah we're gonna go for awakened first you'll probably dig a foxhole in the middle but we should be able to stop that I mean uh, the mock awakened now have a significant range buff in 102 plus we're going to take advantage of that. Obviously, I don't want to go for this structure here because I know that Green Zero Scouts are faster, so there's no point for me trying to guess a building that I really cannot get. So, yeah, we're going to place our refinery right here and uh, put this awakened inside of the Garrison Noble building. Okay, right, so he's dug a foxhole just, just as I thought. We're going to send these squads to him, try and EMP his harvesters and just delay his economy. And yeah, I think we might be able to get this engineer. There we go. That's the range I was talking about. It's it's pretty massive. And yeah, this interface lag is causing some uh, problems when it comes to queuing stuff up. So we're going to just um, put this... He's trying to scout me right now. So yeah, he's not going to build a pit bull. GDI don't tend to rush with anything. But he is trying to anti-scout me right here. Or maybe he just doesn't want me to EMP his harvesters and uh, delay those harvesters from harvesting stuff so we should have enough economy soon to place our refinery unless I forgot my spike but I didn't oh I had my uh, fourth harvester queuing never mind my bad alright so yeah he's not he hasn't put anything in that building there which is really weird so yeah we're gonna order this harvester to harvest Put that in there, and uh, yes, we're waiting for uh, Buggy to come out now, just to see what he's doing. If he's going to be going for any kind of like uh, base push, we want to know that. Uh, Mock can handle base pushes fairly effectively compared to Nod because they can just uh, lock down everything with uh, drafted awakened squads, or even you can just train them from the barracks and it'll be fine as well. So yeah, this Buggy will confirm that he is just going eco boom and not anything crazy. Which he is. He's got four harvesters. Likewise for myself, I have four harvesters too. With a fifth one just popping out, he's going for his expansion now. I'm gonna unpack my MCV and work on my refinery. Now I like to go for bike buggy against uh, GDI uh, because it forces a load of uh, preds out of them and then switch to infantry. But as I am mock, we may have to switch to avatars instead. But if you're playing Black Hand, then uh, what you would do is you would go from Mass Bike Buggy to Infantry. But, you know, Avatars, they're not too bad a unit. So we'll make those. We go for Bike Buggy now and queue a second War Factory. We want to maintain map control so we can grab the blue tip in the future. And uh, yes, this uh, squad has to die, so we're going to draft this, this right here. Go for two buggies just for the tanking. We want to tank as much as possible. And we're going to place the war factory here just in case he hasn't saw it. So if he decides to get greedy and go for a fourth refinery at that field, he's going to find himself not having enough units to stop me. So yeah, he's got one APC there. We, he just dropped a minefield, which I saw. So not the greatest idea from Green Zero. We're not going to engage just yet. We're just going to stack some units right here and uh, wait till we have enough to engage those pit bulls. And what I saw Technique doing is he used to mass decoy army his bike buggy which is really 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 good because it gives the uh, pit bulls extra things to fire at and usually they waste loads of shots shooting those decoys. So we're gonna go for the operation center now just to unlock that ability. And Yep, we may need some more buggies just for the tanking ability, as I said. And after the tier 2, we'll go working on our tier 3 and uh, build the... So, yep, there we go. We're going to kill off these units. He is massively overwhelmed right here, so we're just going to kill off everything that he has. And 
and send them directly to his base now. He may be working on Preds, he may be working on Orcas, but I doubt he'll be working on Orcas, given my, given my unit composition is not something that you would build Orcas against. So, yes, remember he has APC Engineers, he's building Preds, like as I said, you know, this is what you have to expect when you go and bike buggy, they'll go mass Preds, because they know that Pitbulls don't really fulfill the job of killing them. So, we're going to go for, uh, I think, Charged Particle Beams, to be honest. So I think I'm going to expend these bike buggies to try and kill him. We're going to work on an airfield too, and maybe it's time to transfer some harvesters. So let's grab these two right here and send them to that field. Now to get all your bike buggy cloned, what I like to do is just uh, force fire the ground just so they're there. And yeah, since he's got so many forces there, don't bother to engage. So We'll go for the expand now. Got loads of preds. I mean, we could one-click them, but for the entertainment value, I don't think that would be a good idea. Got loads of bike buggy. Uh, no, no others are just chilling at the war factory, which is good. We've got a lot of map control at the moment. He has loads of preds. And if he does decide to harvest anything, well, I mean he. He's got his Preds, like, out-positioned. I mean, I'm about to harass his Harvesters right here. And yeah, he's going to lose a load of Harvesters. I'm going to go directly for that Harvester, because that's just for the taking. And this one too, it's worth sacking a few of these bikes, just, just to kill this Harvester. And uh, at the same time, we want to position our Avatars here. Get this avatar back. And yes. We should have enough to, to take him out here. I'm going to work on more Venoms too. Recapture that uh, husk. Maybe a good idea to go for a second airfield now. And uh, the blue field is probably for the taking, so we'll get that. Recapture that engine, that uh, husk. Go for another airfield. We've got five Venoms now, so we can just start picking away at those. See if he's leeching the blue tip right now. And start working on a refinery. So yeah, uh, Bike Buggy in group number three. Venoms in group number two. Avatars in group number one. So, yeah. Let's get the Venoms into action. Oh, we didn't see that. But uh, yeah, my Venoms will be able to respond fairly quickly to that. Get the uh, refinery up here, and of course I'm making more Venoms. I've got ten of them now, I don't need any more. So we'll cancel Venom production. No idea how I lost my tier 3. Really, no clue. But I think now we can go for a secondary MCV since he's spamming infantry and uh, against this unit composition you want to be going for uh, a lot of Venoms and uh, charge Particle Beam Turret. So it, it was a good call for me going for... Now I want to watch out for the Supersonic Airstrike now because uh, yeah, uh, GDI really like to use that on mass air. Put our Venoms on... Uh, aggressive stance so they don't get uh, clicked by that. But, you know, I don't believe he has a tier 4 at his disposal right now so we'll just kill off all of his uh, power plants. And this MCV will be in position soon. I have another MCV out now so we can go for the uh, mass amounts of Shredder turrets, and we want a tier 2 so we can fence those. Yeah, may end up losing a few of these venoms right here. But yeah, too late, unfortunately. I'm gonna get overwhelmed here. Alright, so I may need to recall these back to base. Alright. 
And now the Venoms will be needed to come back to defend this army. Actually, yeah, instead of those, we're going to go for... There you can see he's got an APC Engineer right there. But my Venom should be able to uh, take him out. Start retaking these husks, place turrets around. And those uh, Venoms, man, wow. Totally held off that engagement. Now he's got an APC engineer there. We're going to take that out real quick. We're going to just place some random turrets here and there as well. And we're going to also take up to tier 3. Not sure if I researched uh, Tib Core. We're going to take that over and uh, that. Spike could be of some use to us. We're going to send these Scorps to harass him. Let's kill off those uh, power plants which he has uh, upgraded. It's got Venoms. A few Preds here and there, but nothing to be uh, concerned of. You can cycle through our harvesters by uh, pressing N on your keyboard. Avatars are great for defense on this map. Uh, when it comes to attacking, I'd say Air's best, just, just for this reason, that you can really kill off anything. Go for clicks now, and we need to work on uh, Tip Core, because I plan to go mass bike buggy. So we go for Bike Buggy. And uh, queue up these power plants. We want, to want them to die. Give an order to kill that off first. Let's kill that pit bull. And uh, these supercharged particle beams are extremely good at killing uh, pit bulls. Fence that up. And those are... Uh, Pitbulls will get taken out pretty easily. And to repair all your Venoms at the airfield, you just uh, force fire the ground so they all clump up. And then you can get them all into range uh, of this uh, airfield, like that. So I took the spike over. He cleaned up there, but I got a power plant, which is nice. Now, the aim here is to get him down onto one base. We're going to make a Redeemer now. And I've got loads of bike buggy. Put the Venoms now in a group number three. He has got tier three now, so I have to uh, take extreme caution with the the avatars. I think uh, some awakened will be nice since he's not steel talons. He can uh, be quite vulnerable to getting uh, EMP'd. We're going to take out the remainder of his position here now, and uh, we're going to just scout what he's up to in his uh, base at the top. The Redeemer Engineering Facility. We can get the Redeemer out now. For that uh, ever so useful Rage Gen. We're going to be using the Rage Gen. Uh, Want to dodge these uh, Juggernauts. There's no reason for you to lose uh, Bike Buggy 2 Juggernauts. That's kind of embarrassing. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, we can Tib Vein this here actually. And finish off the remainder of his harvesters. So we'll use the Venoms to clean up the, the harvesters that were affected by the Tib Vein. And kill that one. And the uh, last harvester will get down. We're gonna lose a few venoms, but you know, we that paid off massively. Take out these husks. Two and the venoms will be getting sent back to base for some repairs. So yeah, he's got his Marv out now. We can just sell off our tip chem plant. Damage has been done. Now we don't need to invest into, uh, what do you call them? We don't need to invest into, I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, we need to go for Awaken, yeah, Awaken, that's it. So we will go for a lot of EMP here, so just mass Train Awakened. And uh, just ensure that he isn't going for... Yeah, there's his MCV. We want to take that out immediately. EMP this. And just keep EMPing his forces. And the Redeemer here, not doing too much, just chilling right now. Start taking a swipe at that MCV. And now we have five Awakened, so yeah. Let's... 
those on group number two. Send those buggies back. We have a heroic venom call. That's nice to see. But at the current time, I believe I have this game wrapped up. Um, we could go for an emissary because there's a lot of tip that's kind of regrown at the bottom there. And if Green Zero is allowed to harvest that Tiberium, then it'll be huge problems for us. I'm going to take out that uh, foxhole right there and uh, the spike. Uh, late game economy does usually... It, it, it mainly involves going for the spike. So yeah, the Redeemer's out of this. Uh, my mistake for not moving the Redeemer to the uh, fight. So yeah, we're going to just hold off the engagement until we have a... Epic unit there to raise Jin, his army. Not that it's needed because it's much larger than his at the moment. But uh, to be safe, we're not going to needlessly waste our units. So yeah, GG. That's game number two against Green Zero. And uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, Marked of Kane versus GDI. Uh, he didn't really go for uh, Orcus, although he really couldn't because of my bike buggy in the beginning. But overall, yeah, he done a pretty good job. But uh, needless to say, I did better. Now, it's probably going to cycle through the maps, which is good for me. I'm going to keep going random, so yeah. Just keep changing the map. Keep it fresh. Oh, for goodness sake. Why, why does he always have to choose these maps where the lighting is so ridiculously hard to see? Actually, I don't want to play this because it lags. insisting to play it. Oh, it's gonna lag like hell. I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Loser's choice. It's not a tournament. Come on. If it was, I would have lost. Because that is evidently what happens these days. I get beaten by lesser opponents. So yeah, GDI versus GDI. Really hate GDI mirrors, what can I say? So we go for a power plant first. We have a Tyrium spike next to our base. So yeah, that, that kind of does force us to go for power plant first. Although the importance of one spike is... Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if it is relevant early game. I mean, you could probably get away with refinery first, to be honest. If it's just one Tyrium spike. But the reason it's there is because uh, Predator, the map maker, wants to uh, entice you to go for uh, so barracks so you can make scouts. And shit, I just captured it about. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I just forgot to go my, get my uh, $500. That's a huge mistake right there. Sorry, I wasn't concentrating. So yeah, two squads versus one. I'm going to get overwhelmed there pretty easily. I'm probably going to lose just, to the fact, just due to the fact that I didn't capture that spike. That really sucks. So yeah, we're going to now scout him. I doubt he'll be trying any cheese. The map is too large for cheese. So we're going to just go for... Um, we're just going to go for harvesters instead. Uh, to compensate for that uh, $500, we can just micro harvesters right here. I know that not many of us do that. So yeah. Uh, I should have put a, a rifle squad in there too, just so to deny him him uh, vision. But uh, never mind. Let's uh, delay his uh, rifles even further. Another harvester, I believe, is going to be safe to go for another harvester. I mean, if he does go for a pit rush, it's very uncommon. But you know, just in case, we can micro them around harvesters and uh, avoid the. Uh, Pitbulls from destroying that harvester because the repairs from the war factory will actually outdo the damage that they receive from the pitbulls. If there's only three, of course. I mean, you, you don't expect the war factory to be making your harvesters invincible to, to more than, you know, let's say four or five. But there you go. So, yes, we're going to just eco now. We're going to play safe since we uh, lost an engineer. We didn't lose an engineer, but we just didn't make full use of it, that's all. So micro those harvesters. We're going to check to see if he's going for an orca pit rush. He's done this to me once before, so I am curious to know what he is doing. If he's going to be going for a refinery or a tier 2. So it's best to scout his expansion because that's usually where players uh, leave their hidden tech if they're going for any. 
But he's going. He's got a harvester going towards the green tip there, which is enough clues to suggest that he's going for um, a refinery there. And my refinery is slightly ahead of his for some reason. And yes, we're going to go for a another war factory, and we're going to uh, just spam pits to counter his own pits. He's got, he's got two on the field now. My pit is not on low damage mode, so it will not will not get chased down by these pits. Although if he, if he does decide to chase it down further, he's going to lose all of his pit bulls to my very soon. I'm going to go for two APCs to see if he's going to go for mass infantry. And yes. Let's get these pits into the uh, action. So yeah, he's got three up to five. He's got loads of pits, actually. So I want to get these APCs here. We're just going to keep spamming pits, so we've got two APCs now. We're going to consolidate. It's very hard to see stuff on this map with the uh, high level of detail, but uh, yeah. We're going to try and kill off his pit bulls. And these APCs are just to deter him from going for any kind of, you know, we don't want him to go for any kind of infantry to hold this off. And I wonder if that, uh, he's got anything up there. No, he isn't at the current time, which is good. And yeah, man, this is lagging really badly. So I think the best course of action to take here is to go for mass pits. And yeah, he got one thing off there. He's not going to get another shot though. There you go. So we're going to kill this harvester off. Micro this harvester back. Micro it around the war factory. And yeah, he lost loads of his units there. And I'm not sure if that was entirely worth it on his part. He's going to lose a yet another harvester. So there you go. We both traded. And he's got three orcas now, so that is not good. Oh, so annoying. And I wonder what kind of eco he's got here. He's got five harvesters doing literally nothing. I have a total of four. But we, re re we are rebuilding those. And we're going to go for a harvester now. Keep going for harvesters. And yes, we're going to sell off this uh, war factory. Get those preds there. Uh... I should have gone for an airfield so I can get a V-35, but we're going to just keep on top of these pit bulls right here. We're going to scout up here too. We're going to use the supersonic airstrike to kill off all the uh, pit bulls. That's the plan. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to build another harvester. And then we're going to go for rail guns. So yeah, there is his uh, orcas. We're going to make sure we place this properly. And yes, perfect. Alright, so that's good. So now we're going to send these pipples to harass him. Give a waypoint order to make those predators shoot the uh, mostly wounded tanks first. Although he probably gave his first, so never mind. We're going to move this MCV not at the green, but between the blue and the green, so we can place our refinery at the blue. And these pits I'm going to use to do some minor harass. So he's probably got one or two harvesters here, like harvesting a depleted field. So if we find anything, we're going to go for that. But there's an upgraded power plant, and I'm happy to take that. And I'm not sure what he's doing right now. Okay, he's going for... he's got no upgrade on his infantry yet. But uh, in case he is going for infantry, we're going to start researching AP ammo. He 
Knowing Green Zero though, he's probably going for more air. No, he isn't. He sold his airfield. He is, he's gone for AP ammo. I didn't go for AP ammo. Because I felt it would be more. Oh, this is not good. Alright, let's queue up some of those there. Put a laser fence on that MCV. Alright, and now we're going to uh, queue up those... He's got loads of infantry, man, like mixed with stuff, so we want to... Just take out these... These units right here, but I doubt I'm gonna have enough. I may have enough. Yeah, man, barely. Now, has he got an expansion set up there? No, he hasn't, which is good. We're going to now send more harvesters to take that blue Tiberium since we've secured it. We just did research AP ammo, so it's, that's nice. But he has two mammoth tanks now he has to contend with. We're going to dig a foxhole here, just in case my mammoth tanks need to escape. So we're going to do that. And we're going to call in snipers. I think that's probably the best source of anti-infantry I probably have right now. Six harvesters. We've got sniper teams inbound. And the MCV2 for the expand. Kill those off. And now we will just make harvesters. So we're going to kill those off. Micro these back. So yeah, we're going to kill those. Kill more of those infantry and go for another refinery. And, oh no, he's about to kill all of them. Crap. So he's currently holding me off now with, uh, with basic infantry because he doesn't have a tier 3. But now we're going to go for juggernauts and start the uh, juggernaut tower camp. Yes, we have enough harvester. We've got eight in total, which is more than enough. We're going to check to see if he's got a tier three. No, he's still continuing to go for mass imps, so we want to go for the juggernauts now. Start queuing some harvesters over to the field that is not depleted. And on top of that, we're going to go for sniper teams, so we can also spot for bombardment for my... Uh, Juggernauts, but yeah, we want to not keep massing towers right now. Upgrade these power plants. Send this harvester back to base. Micro this uh, mammoth tank back. Get a commando out. Yeah, he just simply does not have enough units right now to stop that. And yes going to not waste this juggernaut and yes put this dock this refinery here and he's only got ma mass tier 1 infantry at the moment so he doesn't have really any bulk to his army except infantry which uh, it's not going to fare too well I mean I've got the juggernauts now I can start shelling him force him to engage my units um, I, I'm kind of worried that he has something that, to harass me right now, but uh, I'm not too afraid. Try not to donate this juggernaut to him. That'd be nice. And yes, we're going to just keep massing jugs at this point, really. We're going to go for two zone troopers in the field to pr protect my harvesters from any kind of 
damage from those and yeah we could go for like I said the uh, sniper teams we could go for sniper teams I feel that's probably the best counter to the uh, infantry now is that his unit yes it is so let me kill that off real quick and holy shit I didn't see that coming <laughs> yeah so green zero with his sneaky tactics it's entirely my fault though for not scouting him Man, it does feel laggy. And I don't have a tier 2 either. I mean, I'm working on a supersonic airstrike uh, command post, but yeah, he's, he's just trashed all my harvesters now. And yeah, I should have known that he was going for that. I didn't scan at the right place, and I'm going to lose all of my harvesters. GG. The map lags too bad. Well, there you go. <laughs> See, if I, if it wasn't lagging, I probably would have made a V-35 and used that to scout. It's a lot easier to create in uh, non-laggy situations. But uh, yeah, if you're curious to know the econ economic graph, then there it is. And I think I'll do one more game on a map that's uh, official. So yeah, as we lost, we can choose the map. We'll go for Tournament Rift. I mean, it is a good map. It doesn't lag so much. We can have a pretty good game there. And it'll be fun. So yeah, uh, Rift. We go for Rift now. And uh, just one moment, please. Okay, so, yeah, he chose the wrong rift, but yeah, whatever, we'll go Black Hand. <laughs> oh, I like Black Hand. I want to show everyone this rush that I've been working on that's kind of lame, real lame, actually, and it, it's pretty hard to stop as GDI. Very, very hard. You have to scout it with a pitbull. If you don't go pitbull first, you're going to lose to this rush. So, basically, all you do is go for a Reckoner, and you fill it up with two Black Hand squads. But you don't train the Black Hand Squad from the uh, barracks, you train it from uh, selling a operation center. So you draft an operation center to get your Black Hand Squad for cheaper. It's actually uh, a lot cheaper, about $150 cheaper, uh, I think. But yeah, anyway, you do that and you don't also uh, upgrade your power plant because when you upgrade your power plant it will uh, delay the rush by about uh, a minute or so. Well, not a minute, but you know. 10 seconds because your, your your funds won't be enough for the Reckon to come out and also uh, queue another operation center. So yeah, we're going to not make the same mistake as last time. We're going to capture this spike and order the harvester to collect Tiberium. He dug a foxhole there, which is not good, but there you go. And He's trying to get a scout off now, but uh, that's not going to really happen. Move this Cabal Squad into position. We're also going to make a Harvester and queue an Operation Center now. So he's digging another Foxhole. Remember that re Remember that costs resources, so he's expending resources to, to um, keep his rifles alive, but he's going to lose it right now. And we're going to uh, kill this squad off right here. I knew he was going to send that, so I... I evac'd the squad there, and I also had a Cabal squad up north, so even if he did have a squad that was going to enter that bunker, it would have got instantly killed. But uh, yeah, we're going to uh, sell off this operation center. And I'm not executing this entirely, right? Yeah, what the hell? Seriously, man, ever since that tournament, I've been playing absolute tosh. Now, his uh, Fog of War is probably being uh, receded by now. I doubt he saw that Reckoner. But he suspects I'm going for a Reckoner. But yeah, we're going to go straight for his refinery. He will. He's completely out of position now. And we're going to just uh, put it in reverse so it doesn't reveal its uh, rear armor. 
He did go for... And we're going to start flaming down this... Actually, no, the Wolf Factory, because it's in range of the... He can put a silo between there. But he must have suspected it, so he went for the Pit Rush first. But, yeah, he's still going to lose his uh, Wolf Factory, even though he had done a good job to predict it was coming. So we're going to micro these units back. We still have one of those remaining. Let's see if we can get the kill on this Pipple right here. Yeah, and we do. So a bit of sloppy micro there by Green Zero. Get this uh, Black Hand Squad to uh, retreat. Let's uh, kill this Rifle Squad. It could be quite a pain in the backside. He's got four harvesters, I've got five harvesters, so I'm pretty ahead of him in terms of uh, economy, especially since he went for the rush first and lost the war factory. But yeah, it is a pretty deadly rush, and I can see why Green Zero done that. So we're going for bike buggy now, loads of bike buggy. We're going to just mass up the bike buggy here, the current time. And then we're going to try and snipe a harvester of his. Now, we're going to postpone production of infantry. I mean, uh, bike buggy and go for harvesters. Our next move will be going infantry. This uh, bike back to uh, base for repairs. See if we can get a pillar, uh, a kill on that uh, pit bull. We've got six harvesters with a seventh coming out soon. Um, I'm not sure if he's going for an MCV move towards me. But if so, he's losing all of his uh, his harvesters here. And yes, man, I mean, it's not looking too good for Green Zero. So we're going to get away with most of our units, especially since we have... Uh, Buggy's there to tank the majority of the damage. Now I'm going for infantry as like a precautionary move since he could be going for... Yeah, what he's doing now is just excellent for, for the game for switch. Let's get this uh, Cabal Squad to finish off some of these wounded pits. Whether they will finish them off, I'm not sure. There we go, two pit balls. So a bit micro does help, you know, here and there. And I have uh, infantry already out to stop his units. Now, as I done the decoy army, decoy army last time, I don't have the operation center, so unfortunately we cannot do that. But it doesn't really matter. We've got enough here to overwhelm his uh, forces. Get a pill on, uh, kill on that uh, pit. Working on the uh, Black Disciple upgrade, it's almost done. Micro these bikes back. Again, it's really hard to micro in this lag, but I do my best. He's got his tier 2 just up. He hasn't got AP ammo. He's nowhere near AP ammo, which is uh, not good for Green Zero. And this isn't exactly an all-in. I can keep this pressure up non-stop. Let's go for a secondary MCV to that field. And of course I need these Cabals just to buff these uh, Rocket Squads. So it gives them um, increased fire rate and hit points, if you didn't know that. And um, yes, after this we'll go for, I think, Tech. Because uh, Tech handles every unit that shoots AP ammo. Now, if I was uh, smart, I would go more into range and uh, range these turrets, but, you know, this this is good enough for me. Maybe it's not. We'll go foot forward so we can flame everything down. Kill that harvester. And start working on a tier 3. Get these uh, bike buggies to respond really quickly. See, all these uh, rocket squads probably amount to like three or four black hands in terms of the amount of disciples that are there, which is just a huge amount of uh, DPS when it comes to taking down uh, structures. Uh, a 
and my MCV, I assume, is in route to expand, and it is. I've got nine harvesters, he's well behind, he's never going to make a comeback now. And now we just go for beam inf and GG. So that's game number four against a green zero. Perhaps I have enough time to fill another game. Which I will, I mean, why not? I mean, he's here. He's not unwilling to change, I mean, to leave at the moment. So we'll keep going, we'll keep playing more games against green zero. Seven minutes and 46 seconds, man. That was just nothing. So let's go for another game. And yes. Instead of black hand, I don't know, I mean... Black hand? Yeah, no. Black hand's new faction, let's, do, let's, go, let's just go random. And Stusa is the map. Mm, I hate this map, but we'll go with it. If it's Steel Talons I get, that's excellent, because I can uh, use the uh, barracks and Tiberium silos to shield block my Titans. You know, they, they can shoot over those buildings and they can come out on top where if they weren't hiding behind buildings would have lost, like, no problem whatsoever. Okay, so we are... Whoops, that was not the screen I wanted. I'm checking a moment. We are screen. Okay, great. Now, a strategy that uh, was quite good in the past was devcore. Green Zero has been up against Devcore a lot, so I wouldn't say he's very vulnerable to it. What I feel that the best strategy against GDI on this map is going for two War Factory Devara tanks and just kiting his uh, units. So we go for Gunwalkers, then Devara tanks. That's probably the best bet we have. We can try and kill his engineer, but uh, to be honest, it's a bit too late now. Order this harvester to collect Tiberium. <clears throat> And he will block my scouts, somewhat. Just hide that buzzer behind the spike, so if he tries to engage it, he will lose his squad. So, yeah. I mean, after this refinery, what Aeonian used to do would uh, go straight for a tier 2. Oh, I forgot to capture this spike. And yeah, we want to just, uh, yeah, that, that, that's one thing I really hate about this game is that the pathfinding cut sometimes can really screw you over. So we can get another harvester out, a fourth one, since we have two Tiberium spikes, we don't need to stop harvester production at three. And let's extend our map vision and take this uh, bunker. Get this harvester ready to dock at the refinery that we'll place soon. There we go. And um, yeah, we go for 5 2 and then devour our tanks from two war factories. That's the plan. That's the plan. We're going to do it. Now, from my experience playing as GDI, this is really hard to start, but you never know. He might be able to stop it. Yeah, we go for the scout now. And then uh, mass devour tanks from uh, two war factories. So we have the scan. He's going for a pit bull. Pits first. Trying to block my scouts, but you see he's on five harvesters now. So nothing suspicious right there. Now going to MCV move in case he goes for a load of, um, what do you call them, orcas, then we can just place down our plasma missile batteries and just hold it off easily. And he's GDI, he's not Steel Talons, so this is going to be very hard for him to stop, especially the, the rush, the distance between his base and mine makes this extremely hard to stop. So now he's going to be forced to take this harvester off the line, I'm afraid, or he's going to lose it, man. He's going to lose that harvester now. Green Zero not paying attention, actually. He's going to lose that straight away. And 
yeah, we'll just charge those up at the blue. And get another war factory up and a uh, plasma missile battery. Because that's evidently what he's going to do. And he's going to lose two orcas, oh man. But he's taking out a load of these Devara tanks, man. Get some disintegrators out just for some uh, tanking power. And this is just nightmare mode for Jedi. Because he really can't really. Oh, crap, he's got loads of those. Okay, so we're going to place our sand right there. Stop queuing Devara tanks and get some of those. And he may actually hold this off. Wow, seriously? Nah, he's not gonna hold it off. Surely not. Let's send these. And get these to the green tip. Get those units to defend. Micro this unit back and forth. Get some more double A. Kill this off. The, kill this hamster off. Get this Devara tank back. And this is all in for Green Zero now. Let's get some uh, more disintegrators out just to clean up the rest of his units. This is very hard for Jedi to start by, I imagine. I mean, uh, the drone ship move uh, protects your dev tanks against uh, orcas, while your disintegrators uh, can uh, assist in that uh, in taking out the uh, Preds. So yeah, GG. And that's how you play against GDI as Scranton on Smashed and uh, Small Town USA. It's a variant of uh, Aeonian's build. I'm sure Aeonian used to do that. But I think it's more reliable going for five harvesters and two refs than just going for, you know, one harvest, one refinery and two harvesters, to be honest. Yeah, another seven minute game. These games don't go on very long. It, it's a very small map, though. What can you expect? I mean, that's just how it goes. So, seeing how these games are going so, uh, I mean, they're ending really fast. Let's go for more games and see if we can get a decent one for the finale. And he's still continuing to pick GDI. He's not going for uh, any other faction. I'm just going to pick random for that reason. I mean, GDI isn't something you can be feared. You can fear it. But yeah, uh, Zocom. Not a terrible pick against GDI, especially on this map. The best bet we have is to go for mass infantry and the Marv. I have this theory where you uh, go for uh, awakened squads and that can easily help you take out the uh, juggernauts. I mean, just disable them while the Marv moves in to uh, kill off the, the juggernauts themselves. So yeah, engineer 
two racks. I feel it's very safe this way. It's uh, five hundred dollars per racks, and you get a cheaper rifle squad from it. So you get two, two fifty dollars uh, rifle squads, which is extremely good. Uh, you save money there, and also your engineers get the spikes faster. So I'm not sure what the logic behind going for one racks on this map is, but. For a very long period of time, uh, players used to just go for one racks per spike, which in my opinion does make a load of sense. So if we can grab this uh, bunker here first, that would be great, but uh, seeing how I stop for a second, he's probably going to get it. No, he isn't. So we're going to take this uh, structure here just for some added uh, vision, and I'll capture that momentarily. And after our first harvester, we'll go for the uh, pit scout. We don't know if he has a defensible structure here. If he has that, then my pit will get instantly destroyed. So we want to uh, take caution when we go through the middle. Maybe go around the long way, so uh, this way and then around. All right, and he hasn't bothered to send any scouts in the bottom, which is a little weird. Usually you would see at least one. Okay, so my pit's finally out. I have uh, voices disabled, by the way, so I don't know when units come out. I should really enable it, one enable it once again. And now we're going to move our MCV towards the uh, green field now, just so I can get my e infantry later on to that field a lot sooner. We're gonna go the long way, like I said, just because of the jugs. We don't want to get our our um, my destroyed by the jugs. So easily we're going to have infantry there sooner to support it. We're going for now five, our fifth harvester. He's a little ahead of me in terms of harvesting. That's because I went for Pitbull pit first, but our third refinery will be about at the same timing. Now he has uh, loads of ways to counter the infantry that I'm going to throw at him. He's going to, he can go for... Uh, hammerheads, you can go for sniper teams, you can go for APM or watchtowers, which will probably be the most, uh, the counter I see the most. And let's go for a secondary MCV so we can uh, simultaneously go for a Marv and also get uh, the infantry at the same time. I imagine what he'll be doing now is going for uh, juggernauts and Marv, so th that's what we're going to do. We're going to go for that. We're going to also base creep towards the uh, expansion fields and send this MCV to the north. I think that's probably a good idea now because uh, I don't see how Green Zero would be uh, doing that. And yeah, he's going for APC engineers now. Let's go for AP ammo. We'll have our tier 3 out soon, so that's good. And uh, I doubt that it's a good idea to expand just yet case see he uh, spots that but yeah he's going for some mild amount of pressure nothing too serious and just gonna get two pred two or three preds to deal with that army real quick and get our EMP grenades rolling I'm not sure what he's doing there. He's probably just chilling, waiting for the ideal moment to strike. And I'm not going to bother going into that. No way, mate. Okay, and he's hoping that I somehow fall for that. Okay. Alright, so we go for zone raiders and just mass EMP. Get tungsten shells in case he goes for... Uh, hammerheads, that's a real possibility. He's got mines right there, so we want to clear those out. So let's clear those out really quick. Get a MTV 35 rolling. Right, now we can see what he's doing. That's just for one of those, by the way. Oh, 
so hard to find places to build. All right. So let's get this mark going. We're going to go for tungsten shells now. It's very hard to deal with this. But uh, yeah, we're going to deploy our MCB around about here and go for more EMP grenades. Get the MAV. Some of those. And at the same time, I feel that we could have a backup plan and move our MCV a little bit there. Alright, so... And this might not work, it might work, who knows. No, it's not going to work, he saw it coming a mile away. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah, it's very hard for Zocom to win on this map for that reason. And yeah, this is pretty much good game, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, let's tap out, tap out of this one. GG. Uh, it was worth a shot. It's not exact. It's not like Zocom had a good chance, anyways, on that map. But uh, yeah, we'll go for one more. I'm unha unhappy on how that uh, went. So yeah, not satisfied. Let's go for one more. If he's willing to create another game, anyways. It's like he knew exactly what I was doing that game. He knew that I was going for Massey and Pete and Marv as though he's encountered it before. But, uh, yeah. Damn it. We'll go Rift for the final map. And... Black Hand, probably. <laughs> yeah, why not? I really, I really want to get good with Black Hand, just because I, I keep falling victim to them all the time in tournaments, which is beginning to get on my nerves. So we're gonna, if you can't beat them, join them, as they say. And we can go for the bottom spikes, but I know Green Zero is pretty good at killing those engineers right down at the bottom, so we won't bother with that. Instead, we will go for just one engineer and play safe. He'll go for a pit rush first, most likely, as he will expect me to go for the Reckoner. I'm not saying the Reckoner is a guaranteed win, but um, it's very, very hard to stop in my opinion, and I don't see how GDI can stop it with at ease. Nor Skrin, because they're... Uh, vehicle, their fastest vehicle, the Sea Carrier, is nowhere near the speed of a Reckoner, so it's very hard to intercept that, unless you know it's coming. And for Skrin, it's very hard to know what's coming if you're up against Black Hand, because you don't have eyes on their base, because they're excellent at anti-scouting, and they just kill everything that you have. Unless you go for a T2. But I don't upgrade the power plant, so there's no way for you to know if it's a bike rush or a uh, tier 2 rush, because the upgrade on the power plant kind of just, uh, tells you that if the Black Hand player is going for a flame rush or just a regular bike rush. If you don't see a power plant, then usually players assume that it's just a, a bike rush. On one refinery. Let's kill this squad right here. And you can uh, exit this building and then uh, put your squad back into it just to extend your, your vision a little bit. Which uh, can be useful. Drop our second refinery right there. And he's going for pits first, like this is not a good idea, really. He's expecting me to do the exact same build. And he is mistaken, I'm afraid. So yeah, we're going to go for uh, buggies to counter it. Three buggies, I feel, is all, that's, all that's necessary. We can also chase them down. And after the third buggy, we'll go for harvesters. 
but uh, yeah, we're going to find out where those pits are. There they are. We're gonna kill this this one first. Have the Cabal Squad intercept this pit. Afraid it's too late to micro that. Oh, there's a Cabal Squad there. Maybe we can do some damage with that. But yeah, I mean, that that's solved the uh, pit problem. I mean, buggies aren't... They're cheaper than pit bulls, and they can uh, do a fairly good job at killing them. Got a veteran buggy in the process. <clears throat> which is great. And... Now I believe we're just going to go for more harvesters, one more harvester, then we'll go to start spamming Blank Buggy to contend the map. So he's just taking a peek with his uh, rifle squad. And that's good on me, we can take that. Start spamming Blank Buggy to kill his pipples. Do some scouting with that. In just one moment. Alright. So. He's got some pits, but uh, not a scary number at the current time. He hasn't bothered to go for the field, the blue field. Uh, I thought I sent a harvester there. Maybe I didn't. We'll send one there now. Alright, we're going to put the buggies in group one and the bikes in group two just for the, the tanking send these bikes back I don't think we'll lose anything here and yeah man he's gonna lose everything all right happy with that how that went so we're now going to just keep going for Bike Buggy. Now he's really, he really wants to kill that Harvester. He's going to lose a load of these pits if he tries to, to kill it. Go for the tier 3 so we can get the tip core out as soon as possible. Gonna decoy up all these units now. So the same trick as before, we force fire the ground and then decoy up for a load of decoys. We can just take these pits out, no bothers whatsoever. Bike buggy, man. <laughs> Something. Right, so we're still gonna keep pumping out the bike buggy. He's got both bottom spikes, so we wanna do something about that now, soon. Still making pits. I mean, if it was me, I would have gone for. What'd you call it? Yeah, we're gonna get tip core soon, so we'll start spamming more bikes and uh, just hold off the engagement until then. Let's clear out those buildings right there. Send the harvester back, and very soon we will have tip core. We've got two harvesters here. We wanna. Protect those. It's got loads of pits, but you know, got this chemical plant that hasn't done anything for me. And now 
Yeah, tip core's gonna be done soon, so let's go. And since he took first shot at the pits, at the harvester, he's gonna lose all of them here just for very little gain. Surprised he's even managed to kill so much. All right, and we're kind of stretched for cash right now. We've got three harvesters with blue tip. Now we're going to go for Obelisk. I think that's probably the best bet now, to be honest. And send those harvesters back. Get some of those ready. We can actually tip Vane. That's what I'm going to do. So tip Vane. Then we'll just click all that. Get some repairs by the war factory. Try and disrupt the uh, harvesting here. He's got loads of towers, but he's got no tier 3 yet, which is nice. Um, let's get the upgrades. Green Zero though, he done a good job with the uh, pits, but to be honest, it's not the right idea because you can get Tiv Vane. But he is able to mass up a load of pits. Not, don't ask me how he got so many. All right. So I think artillery is needed at the, at the current time. All right. I'm well aware he's got those spikes at the bottom, but uh, I'm gonna be having a substantial eco economic advantage soon. So it won't make so much of a difference. We're now going to uh, put a refinery here. Start harassing these harvesters. That harvester back to work. So it can offload its Tiberium at that refinery. to get jugs now which is a problem but if he decides to come uh, further into range he's gonna lose most of those juggernauts to the, the specters so if he decides to come further into range he's gonna lose those build a tier 2 now Oh, he's got a Marv, holy crap. Oh, we might lose this Marv. Uh, Yeah, there it goes. So, I mean... he done pretty good. <laughs> yeah, greens are flaming right now. His true colors shining. <laughs> uh, GG. So, yeah, I think that'll do it for this FPV. Um, should be like one hour odd. Maybe a little bit more than that. But, yeah, I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed it. And uh, it was a pleasure making this. It's 
I wanted to always do one against Green Zero, but unfortunately the time zones restrict me from doing it uh, very often. And yeah, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. And yes, I will, will be bringing more videos. There is a special video coming out soon that I've been working hard on, and uh, I hope to release that in the very near future. So yeah, hope you. Uh, yeah, please uh, leave any feedback if you have any questions or anything then uh, please don't be scared and just leave it in the comment section below and uh, yeah this is Master Leaf uh, peace out